Good evening. The Benedictine Sisters of Erie are tonight defending themselves from unfounded claims after a Pennsylvania-based GOP door-knocking group with nearly 60,000 followers on X accused the sisters of voter fraud. The post has garnered national attention and has already been viewed nearly three million times. The accusers claiming the 53 registered voters at the address of the monastery don't actually live there. Matt Mathias breaks down the situation for your local election headquarters. Matt. Yeah, that's right, Sean and Jen. The Benedictine sisters describe this accusation as a new low in what's been an intense election cycle filled with misinformation. A Pennsylvania-based GOP door-knocking initiative has accused the Benedictine Sisters of Erie of voter fraud, claiming that of the 53 voters registered to the monastery's address, none live there. This comes after one of the group's representatives supposedly visited the monastery to ask about an unreturned mail-in ballot. The leader of the group posted this on X, and since it was posted Tuesday, it's accumulated nearly 3 million views and sparked outrage from the sisters here in Erie. It was very disturbing to think think that someone would fabricate a story of coming here and a sister saying no one lives here, that is beyond belief. Beyond claiming no one lives at the monastery, founder of the Pennsylvania Chase, Cliff Maloney, posted the names of the sisters, their ages, and their affiliations. As a community, we work, we pray, we're living together. We believe in peace and justice. To see this blatant misinformation using our names, it just was outrageous. We're told 55 sisters live at the monastery right now. Each of them have their own separate bedrooms, a common dining room, community rooms, and come together in the chapel to pray together three times a day. According to experts, misinformation has run wild in this election. It's mystifying to me that people are so passive in how they get their news in a democracy. A democracy depends upon an informed citizenry, and we are drowning in bad information. Bloodsworth calls this the attention economy. All they want to do is get clicks and make a as much money and stir the pot and apparently lie about nuns. Maloney had this to say on X after being fact-checked by the Benedictine sisters, who are warning others to be careful of what you read online. People are lying right and left on social media and there are so many people that just read it and believe it. So we want to alert the public that you can't believe everything you read. You have to critically look at it and do your homework. This particular man who posted it obviously did not verify or do his homework. And as we previously stated, this situation has gotten national attention. CNN News was on site today talking to the sisters, and they're hoping this will help set the record straight. Sean. Matt Mathias reporting tonight. Thank you, Matt.